We've got a body over here. The coroner checked her dental records. It's definitely Victoria Grayson. My dearest Margot, I've decided to end my life. You have two days to clear my name. Your move, Amanda. I think someone broke in here and attacked Victoria. This wasn't a suicide at all. This was murder. What are you doing here? I was called back for questioning. Isn't this a conflict of interest? Working on a case that involves your girlfriend? We broke up the night you left. She ran to the airport to stop you. She chose you. It's a form of lymphoma. They got it early, and I'm getting cutting-edge treatment. Victoria. Ask me to pass along a message. I'm going to make it appear as if you murdered me in your own home. Amanda Clark, you're under arrest for the murder of Victoria Grayson. Victoria set me up. Cover. Jack, I didn't do it. She planned this. I'm innocent. They're going for the brass ring. Murder one special circumstances, and they like their odds. The state's going to argue that a week after you went on TV and told the world how much you hate Victoria Grayson, you terrorized her in a parking garage, broke into her penthouse, attacked her, then you locked her in your own home, which you burned to the ground in an attempt to make it look like she killed herself. And this is her suicide note that I allegedly forged. Which they'll have you read aloud at trial. This is Victoria's handwriting. DA's experts found small discrepancies, which will prove it's a fake. And their argument will be that you couldn't have accomplished half of what you did as Emily Thorne without doing plenty of forging. Which is why, and I say it again, at least let me try to negotiate a plea to lesser charges. Absolutely not. If you're found guilty of murder one, it's life in prison. Second degree might have you out in... I'm not pleading guilty to anything. There's nothing to negotiate. Just get me bailed out.